G'day! In today's video, I've got an Acer Aspire Vero with the model number N20C5. And this one's just getting a simple RAM upgrade added to the mix. So this particular one does have only got 8 gig in a single DIMM slot. And it's currently using about 80% of it when it just first starts loading up Windows 11. So I'm going to use a Phillips head screwdriver. I get all the screws. My hands are rather cold at the moment, so this screwdriver feels like I can be able to actually grip it. And this one's claim to fame is using recycled plastic. So, yeah, that's its claim to fame. It's using recycled plastic. How nice. If only they made it so you could upgrade the CPU. As I was saying, if they made it so you could upgrade the CPU rather than having to replace the whole laptop, that would probably be a slightly better than having to than using uh, recycled plastic. Because then there'd be less machines needing to be recycled, thus in turn less plastic being made. But that is a topic for another day. Okay. That removed. Up here. Uh, I'll use a thin guitar pick. Slide it into a groove somewhere here. Hopefully I can pop it. No. No. The funny thing is, even though this is uh, recycled plastic, it feels like it's got more structural integrity than the typical Acer bottom cover of their laptop. There we go. And we're in. Ah, so the eight gig of RAM must be soldered. You see a little bit of, little bit of dirt build up on the fans here. Nothing to be concerned about. We do have an NVMe slot over here that can be replaced, but I'm purely going in just to do the RAM. So what I want to do is unpack and unbox the RAM. Do make sure your system is powered off. Otherwise, if you're not too sure, you can also simply just pull these two tabs and disconnect the battery. Chain, adding RAM while the PC's on is not a good thing to do and does have a higher risk of damaging the system. So with the battery disconnected, we're completely safe to proceed. Take this out. Now there is a little notch here, it's not quite in the middle. It will match up with the notch over here. So if I slide this in at about a 35 degree angle and then pull down, that should lock it into position. So I slide it in loosely until the gold pins are mostly disappeared. Then when they're mostly disappeared, you can push down. Clicks in just like that. That should just bounce up and down. If it bounces up and down, you're probably going to be fine. Then we can reconnect the battery down the bottom here. There, there. That's the battery reconnected. You don't have to really alt. You don't have to alter anything in the BIOS. You just simply need to add them extra memory, and then from there, that will function. Next up is putting the bottom cover back on. Flip it over here. Push. Go, that and that. Next up, I'll grab these. All those screws look to be of the same size. And I do believe my screwdriver does have silicon spray on it from yesterday. So, because of that, it is also very slippery. That combined with cold hands makes it a very bad screwdriver to try and hold. Go and almost completed. So I'm going to continue putting these screws in and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.